German Emigration to the United States, 1709. By Frank Reed Defenderfer, 1833 to 1921. From the German Exodus to England in 1709, published in 1897. Coffee Break Collection 26. It's a Small World. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. William Penn had made two visits to Germany, one in 1671 and the second in 1677. At that time he had not yet acquired the province that was to make his name so memorable but he became well known through the peculiar religious tenets he advocated and attempted to spread later when the owner of pennsylvania he spared no efforts to attract colonists from germany not only did he write full descriptions of the province where lands were almost given away but political and religious toleration was proclaimed as the very cornerstone of his new government many of these attractively written brochures are still extant to show us how great were the efforts to arouse the spirit of emigration then too the spirit of speculation stepped in and did much to forward the project one company after another was formed to arouse and encourage the migrating impulse the west india company the frankfurt company and many more were engaged in this work seidensticker tells us that the latter company is directly attributable to penn he also asserts that penn gave the first impulse to this german exodus bancroft bears testimony to the same effect the climate resources and general advantages of penn's province were well known all over germany it is true that more than a generation had passed by since the gentle quaker's visit to the rhine provinces and many of those who had met him face to face were no longer among the living but there were still some there who had seen and heard him a new series of publications also began to appear about the year seventeen hundred and these were widely distributed all over germany and the low countries once more the tales of a land flowing with milk and honey were told a land where the climate was more temperate than in germany where the conditions of life were more desirable where all creeds were tolerated where kings and priestcraft were unknown where universal freedom prevailed where strife never came where not only ease and comfort but certain wealth awaited the industrious settlers this and much more was heard around every fireside and fell like the voice of enchantment upon the ears of the harried and starving palatinese there was also an old german prophecy to the effect that in america they would prosper and be happy with all these things continually pressed upon their attention and with the grim spectre of spoliations hardships intolerance and want rising gloomily out of the past need we seek further need we even wonder that entire communities arose as one man shook the dust of the fatherland from their feet the fatherland so dear to the german heart and with little or no preparation took flight for a land where their lives should thereafter be passed in plenty and in peace end of german emigration to the united states 1709 by frank reed defender fair 1833-1921